Today I'm going to show you how I do my barbed wire, quick and easy. What we're going to do first is take a length of um, light gauge wire, this is a 24 gauge, um, really light, really flexible, you can bend it easy and it molds. Um, you're going to need two pieces of roughly the same length. Um, if you don't have wire, what you can use is just burn off of the um, the paper or the plastic off of um, twist ties and that will give you a really thin wire that you can then use to do the ex exact same thing just do that on a couple of them and you get short lengths of barbed wire um, yeah. so what you want to do is have your two lengths roughly the same size um, at the one end you're going to want to wrap two around each other so you get like a Y, like the fork. Um, then you're going to want to take pliers. You can use your fingers, but I don't suggest it because it kind of takes a lot out of your fingers. And it's just hard to do. So what we're going to do is then pinching in the middle where that Y is on this opposite side. Pinch and turn 180 degrees. Pinch and turn 180 degrees. Same thing. Let's do this all the way up. Um, you want to be careful when you're using long lengths of wire. Um, make sure your eye is out of range where the wire is so that you're not hitting yourself in the face, hitting yourself in the eye, you know, causing unnecessary hospital trips from a really non aggressive hobby. Kind of embarrassing, I, I would say, show up at the hospital. Oh, yeah, I punctured my eyeball because I was twisting wire around and making barbed wire. You like you're crazy or something. It's also a good way to do um, chain link too. Is um, just make um, less tight uh, twists. You can kind of see. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, not very good camera. But anyways, um, you can do it so that there will be little loops in there. So I'll see if I can do one right here. You kind of just leave a bit in the middle and then twist so there's like a, a gap in there. Like chain, like chain link. Well, not chain link, I guess, just regular chain. Anyway, twisting, twisting, twisting. Again, I'm doing this really fast. Uh, you may want to take your time just to get it all nice and even and straight and looking good. It'll look good either way, I think, because uh, most scenery and stuff like that and war game train that you uh, you don't want it to be perfect. You don't want it to be exact. You want it to be messed up in just the right way so that it uh, gives its own unique, cool effect to your piece, whatever you're doing. Okay, I think I'm going to go with that. Okay, so straighten that out. Um, what I usually do is go one link back from where the, um, the Y is there, um, and then cut. Careful, these will fly all over the place. And same with the other side. And there you have it. You have some barbed wire. You can use that for what you can take is these extra little bits wrap them around in certain places like every you know half inch every whatever just give them one little wrap so they're pointing opposite ways and it looks like barbed wire um, to get razor wire effect like this uh, like on my tanks and on my chaplain and stuff like that um, what you'll do is take like a dowel pencil paintbrush anything you got laying around that's round 
um, first give it one little wrap maybe two and take your pliers and hang on to this I only do this just because it's easier uh, not as hard as your fingers and uh, you want to keep this as tight as possible when you're wrapping it around would work better if I had proper pliers, not needle nose. And there you have it, it's just that simple. Now it's a matter of pulling it apart. What I like to do is just give it a reverse twist in a couple spots just so it looks kind of more random and not so uniform. And there you have it. Now you take lengths of barbed wire. Now whatever you can do, or whatever you want to do, sorry, um, put them on a base, something like that. Attach dowels at the end as posts something, I don't know, um, throw it in front of a bunker, um, use it for basing, use it on tanks, I don't know, it's awesome, it's a cool effect, uh, this stuff looks green so it's not very good looking, but uh, once you get it painted up, it looks fine to me, I don't know, gives the effect that I want, um, so let me know what you guys think, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and yeah, I'll be back for more, take it easy.